Alright, this camera is terrible, but <clears throat> what's going on YouTube and yeah, YouTube family out there? Uh, I know I ain't made a video in a long time. I just been working, busy, and trying to get myself straight. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, life, life, shit, bro. But. God damn, man, I just been thinking, yo, I had to repent, bro. Because I read that word. First off, I, I just realized I was headed down the wrong path, yo. Doing shit for the wrong reasons, living in sin, and transgression. Trans transgression against the most high. You know, he tell me to do shit, and I still go the other way. And I'd be like, it was a real battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really been out here just fighting with myself, really. I had to give it to Jesus, yo, and that what made me kind of realize, yo, like, none of the spiritual stuff like that really mattered to me no more, you know what I'm saying, because I seen that burning pit, bro, like, it's real, like, he really saved me from that mob, and I didn't know it till, you know, he saved me from, there's no, he saved me from that bit. Like, I seen it, yo. I seen it in a dream, yo. He saved me from that mug, and he do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? I read it in that word. He saved souls from that pit every day like it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I want to clear some things up about the last video I made because I said something that I didn't, I, now looking back, I don't really agree with. Like I said, uh, this life doesn't matter, and, you know, and, and that we're not watching that video. It's like y'all not, y'all wasn't really watching me, but that's because I didn't know myself, and I didn't know who I was in God and Christ. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just out here existing, yo. Like real life darkness, you know. Didn't know, didn't know. I, I denounced my identity and. Everything like one need to denounce. I just ain't even know myself like that. You feel me? Like I had a whole awakening experience, but yeah, like my third eye was open. You know what I'm saying? It got open. So like you know, all this stuff started coming to me. But now I see yo, you know, it's like the Bible says: if your third eye open, it gotta be full of light. So I had to close out all that shit. I was opening doors and shit and just, you know, out here living in the world, living in sin, yo. Like I had a dream that it was complete darkness around me, you know what I'm saying? But people was laughing in the streets. And right before that dream, I had just killed my lower self, you know what I'm saying? My, like, the nigga, like we all have like a little shadow self or like, that a lower self, you know, we all have that lower self, that lower nature, but we don't supposed to serve that being, you know what I'm saying? We don't supposed to serve that, that man, and we don't supposed to serve the wicked one. We're supposed to turn from evil, we're supposed to hate it, and we're supposed to rebuke the devil, you know what I'm saying? And turn from our wicked ways. And reading that word, you know, all God wanted for us is to repent, you know, and come back to Him in Christ, you know what I'm saying, and serve Him glorify his name and that's what we here to do but i'm here to i'm here to like rectify some shit on what i said because this watching these videos you know it do mean something you know what i'm saying like how i'm speaking and what i'm saying i have to watch that because your, your mouth your tongue is a double-edged sword so that's why i had to come back and correct myself because this life do matter you know what I'm saying? This life is the last one. You know what I'm saying? This it right here. This is a great tribulation. You know what I'm saying? This like this it. Once this once this over though, like it ain't no other, bro. Because the most I said he doing away with all this shit, bro. Cause it's wicked as fuck, bro. And we don't move him to anger to where his fire is lasting forever until the final judgment where he gonna put niggas into that lake. You feel me? I don't seen it. I don't seen the lake of fire. I don't I don't been through hell and back, bro. Like this shit real, yo. Like I ain't actually been in that lake, but I just seen it as far as like knowing that shit real, bro. 
but I definitely don't been through that fight. I definitely got that sword, yo. That's why I'm saying, yo, Jesus is real. Like, do away with all that sorcery and third eye and fucking idol worshiping, altars, having other guys on the altars, all that shit, bro. The most I don't like that shit. That's, that's what our ancestors were doing. And that's why we in the predicament we in now. And on top of that, we getting it double because in God's eyes, we doing worse because we going after our own hearts and flesh after he told us not to do this shit. He look at it as we doing worse than our ancestors worshiping these other gods and then going out here fucking and sinning and doing all this shit in his face. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you're going to get judged for that, you know, but his judgment is righteous and pure and true and holy, you know what I'm saying, above all judgment, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to judge you unfairly, but because I'm telling you how I'm telling you, bro, I know shit finna get real because I don't seen it in my dream, bro. These niggas coming after me, but the most I say he's going to keep them away from me. That's why I ain't scared to speak how I'm speaking because... I don't got my conviction back in Christ. I listen to my ancestors, you know. I repented for them. That's what we supposed to do, repent for them. I cried out to God and he heard me. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I seen my inner child, my my innocent self-child crying on a, cow, a cloud falling in the sky. I don't see my, my higher self falling. You know, I fell. I fell from grace, yo. The Most High turned his face from me. And I was in darkness and sin, lost. I'm out in the streets crying, lost, confused, don't know where I'm going. I'm running from my own shadow. You know what I'm saying? Just lost. I'm running from the devil. I'm running from beasts around the corner. Like, bro, running the streets on fire, bro. This shit is not no game. Most I said he bringing fire and brimstone. You know what I'm saying? This shit not no joke, bro. But at the same time, you got to know who you serve. All that shit is a... It's, it's kind of like a play of the mind, but it's not, bro, because if you're not in tune with spirit in Christ, then you living in sin, and that sin going to lead you to destruction. That's why, like, that's why I got afflicted how I did, because, like, I was living in sin. Shit, I trained good, you feel me? But what saved me was that I repented. And I rebuked the devil, and before all this shit happened, when, you know, when I can say, what can I say, how can I say it, bro, because I went outside, and something was telling me I need to go outside and cry, I had just got done smoking, and I went outside, but I couldn't cry, so I said, I am my lower self, and everything got quiet, you feel me, but at the same time, I was like, I don't know what finna happen, I'm just finna keep moving. I was walking down the street. I ain't even walk home. I just walked down the street and went up to the edge of the road where I had got, where I had, uh, I had passed out there from getting jumped. You feel me? And I just thought about that. I, I walked right back up to that spot, bro. But at the time, I was just so lost out there and shit, bro. Like, I ain't know what was going on. I was seeing my heart strings and everything. You feel me? High as fuck out my mind. You feel me? And it wasn't even that I was tripping. I was just tripping, yo. Like, I was just tripping. I was living in sin. I had to get, I had to get my correction. You know what I'm saying? The most I chastised me. You know what I'm saying? I got ate up. Straight up. I got ate the fuck up, bro. But because of my conviction and my faith in Christ and because of my heart, bro, I'm here to tell you, bro, Jesus is real. Whether he a black man White man, Chinese man, Jesus is real, bro. Yahshua Christ is real, yo. And he really died for our sins, bro. He went down into that pit, got the keys from the devil, smack, I ain't gonna say smack on what he got now. That's how I just look at it, cause like shit. It's just raw like that to me. He went down to smack that nigga, got them keys, got the keys to death, and saved the whole world, yo, twice over, you know what I'm saying? reborn, you know what I'm saying, and all his glory and righteousness, I've seen it, bro, he's here with us in spirit and in truth, always and forever, the Bible said he'll never leave us nor forsake us, bro, 
You feel me? I damn near killed myself out there, bit, bro. I probably did die a thousand times, you feel me? I was meditating, doing all this shit. I'm talking about something. I was just sitting in my grave. I'm having dreams. I'm running in, running through a graveyard and a bear chasing me. But a boy standing there facing the bear. But I had this dream twice. And the second time, I got to a stoop in the middle of a field. And it's a circle like goddamn GTA around that bit. You feel me? I get there. I'm like, I'm here, but I don't know what to do. Like, what's going on? What I supposed to do? So I just said, I'm going to let the bear bite me. You feel me? And that bit, when that bit bit me, my back art like that. I woke up. And that shit was like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I was like, ah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that light, that lightning, that light. You feel me? Like, that was reality hitting me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit, I need to get my shit together, bro, because this shit real. You feel me? Like, these niggas out for blood, bro. They not playing, bro. Like, the Bible said they hunting us down. But if you in that word, you in that truth, and if you chosen to cover by the blood of the Lamb, they can't touch you, bro. They can't touch you. That's why I'm here. I'm speaking on it, because they can't touch me no more. The enemies have scattered, bro. Like, we did it, bro. I did it. I did it. I saved myself in Christ. You feel me? I repented. And I'm repenting. I repented for everybody who watched this video. You feel me? Who... I may have confused or may have misled or even if you did something that you know, whatever, bro, I just repented just because, bro, because we need it. Yo, I cried out for my people, bro. Like, before even reading it in the Bible, bro, I was crying out, bro. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Like, this shit break my heart. What's going on out here? I wish it wasn't like that. Like, my baby mom brother just killed himself. You feel me? And that nigga just graduated from, from high school. Just killed himself, bro. But he came to me in a dream, dancing in the spirit realm, making flowers and yeah, making flowers come out of the earth, dancing. I'm just dancing, bro. It's that real, bro. Like God is real, bro. The angels, they're singing and dancing and praising, yo, because I repented. You know what I'm saying? Came back to God in Christ. I'm back home in my hometown, Greenville, South Carolina. And I ain't going nowhere. The Bible said that we're going to come back into our own land. You feel me? That's where we're going to be at. I still our father's land. You feel me? But it's also a spiritual place, bro. Like, to me. Because, shit, I don't know. I mean, I know I've been here. I know this is my ancestors' land. But... Shit to, shit to real like that, bro. I just want, like, I ain't, I ain't trying to get sidetracked on the shit, bro, because I know everybody don't look at it, look at the life, and I know ain't nobody gonna be able to see it like how I see it and all that good stuff, but, bro, shit real, bro. Let go of, the only thing you're supposed to be meditating on is that word, bro. The only thing you're supposed to be meditating on is that word, day and night, night and day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how else to explain it, yo. Like, most how really saved me, yo. I'm so grateful. Every day I wake up thanking his name and praising his name. Like, I give thanks, yo. Christ is Lord, yo. Jesus is real. That's what Christ is real. Yo, who is real? He is our Elohim. Zion is real. We are the children of Zion. I am. I'm, I'm a child of Zion. You feel me? Like, straight off the bone, bro. Like, I got baptized in the fire of my afflictions in Christ, yo, twice over, bro, because I fucked up, you feel me, that's how I got this mark right here, you feel me, I got baptized in that fire, bro, I don't went through that fire, bro, this shit happened right when I started going through my depression and shit, yo, like, really when I was trying to start coming out of the bit, bro, but that's when I had to fight, you feel me, like, I was out here living, bro, I ain't no... You know, I'm just shit, thinking I'm just doing what I got to do to make it and survive. But at the same time, I was living in sin. You feel me? And so I had to sit with that affliction. That's why, like, now I don't even want to do nothing. I don't even want to, like, be a part of the society no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go down. I don't want to do nothing, bro. But at the same time, I got to speak my peace on this shit, bro, because... Whether I do something or not, y'all y'all blood would be on my hands if I didn't speak the truth and keep it real, you feel me? Like, the most I love of Christ is real. I'm not ashamed to say it. You know what I'm saying? Jesus is real, bro. And, and he saves lives and he loves us. 
unconditionally. I tell my family that shit every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't say it no different, no better, bro. Like, I just want to give thanks and praise. I want to love on y'all. I want to love on my family. You feel me? I don't want nothing but the best for my people, yo. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to. Hey, we got to get right, bro. I mean, if you got it, you got it, bro. You got it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, God, most high, he do not. He do not like all that sorcery and witchcraft shit. Dude. A lot of black folks are getting into now and thinking it's like the real spiritual truth about this bitch and whoop de woo. No, that's the fall of man, yo. Because what good are you to gain the world and lose your soul, first off? Second off, man, if you if you if you like thinking you like a god and this and that and whoop de woo. But you ain't keeping the commandments, bro. Then you ain't nothing but a fallen angel here to deceive, deceive the daughters and sons of man. You know what I'm saying? That means you're following that wicked one, that evil one out here, bro. Whether you know it or not, that's why you got to repent, bro. I was one of them niggas. I had dreams of superpowers and shit. Thinking I can really do that shit, bro. You, can't, you ain't got no power outside of what God give you, bro. And you cannot get through the Father without getting through the Son. So all that shit is ego, and it's lower self-ego, and it's pride, you know what I'm saying? And it's false pride, and you you gonna end up becoming a false prophet out of this bit, deceiving niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't do it. Don't set yourself up like that, bro. Don't do it. Fuck all that spirituality shit, that Scientology shit. Jesus is real, bro. What that word say? What that Bible say? You know what I'm talking about? Straight like that, bro. What that word say? You feel me? Cause it's gonna tell you everything, word for word, how you need to be, who, you, how you need to see, who you need to talk to, how you need to be, bro. Like, if you need to repent, repent, bro, and don't be ashamed to change and walk away. Repentance is just change. It's change of your higher self in Christ, bro. <laughs> you gotta let go of that lower self. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking for myself, but I, I already done did it. You feel me? This is my this is my purpose. This is me telling y'all this shit, bro. Because I repented, bro. Like, like, bro, I got saved. My inner child that was falling on that cloud got saved, bro. Like, I, <laughs> I got saved, bro. I'm that same boy, that same nigga, bro. But I gotta grow up and I gotta I gotta face reality. You know what I'm saying? Of my situation. You feel me? That's facing. That's becoming the boy. That spiritual shit real, but it's like you gotta have discernment. You feel me? You gotta be righteous in Christ. You gotta, he's the God of all gods. You feel me? You gotta serve him. You feel me? If you're gonna be a God, at least be a God of light. You know what I'm saying? Not darkness, bro. Like, don't do it, bro. Don't do it to yourself, cause the most high don't like that shit. He do not like that shit. He do not like ugly. He do not like people messing with his children. He do not like that shit, bro. And these niggas don't hurt me. And he said he's going to take that fire that I had to sit with in my affliction and put it on them twice over, ten times over, yo. And I'm like, mercy, bro, because, bro, I got ate the fuck up. I'm talking about ate the fuck up, bro. Them destroyers are real, bro. But the most high restored soul, bro. You know what I'm saying? I repented before the flood, you feel me? I repent it, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I said, hell, nah, to all that shit, bro. Straight like that. I got my smile back, bro. Because I'm speaking the truth. You can only speak from your heart, bro. You can only speak from what you know in Christ. You know what I'm saying? You're not outside of God's eyes, bro. Niggas think because they realize, but thinking they not being seen and heard out here, bro. He hear your thoughts, he know your mind, he know your heart. You feel me? He know every hair in your head that fall and touch the ground, bro. This shit not no game, bro. I don't care about no free form lots. I don't care about none of that shit, bro. I care about y'all salvation in Christ, bro. Because listen, this shit's real out like, here. You will die and be stay dead, bro. Forever, bro. This shit is not a game. You will be dead and you 
and lose yourself in your sins, bro. If you out here in the world like that, living out here and sin and feels like that, bro, repent, bro, please. Repent, bro. I'm pleading to my people, Lord. Repent, bro. Repent, repent, repent. I repent for you. I pray with you, bro. Y'all can hit me up. Ask me, bro. Whoop de whoop, blah, blah, bro. I tell you straight up. I read that word with you, bro. What you want to do? You want me to come and pray over you, lay hands on you, give you a hug? I ain't really no lovey dovey type person because of what I done been through. I'm so traumatized. But shit, bro, fuck that social distance and shit when it comes to your salvation. If you need a hug, if you need help, if you need to get on medication, anything, I don't been on it. I don't been in the mental institution. I was just in the mental institution last year. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you need help, bro, get help, bro. Because the shit out here is real, bro. And I didn't know how lost I was till I seen the shit coming, but it was too late. I still got, you know, I still got discipline and ate up, but I feel like it would have been worse if I never would have you know, renounced my lower self. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to come through this shit. You got to overcome this shit. You got to overcome evil with good. That's what I did, bro. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. And I still came out me and hard as fuck, bro. Like, I still got my heart. And then song, like, the most high going to bless me beyond measure, bro. I read it. You feel me? Because I kept the word. I kept the faith. I put up the good fight. But I'm still, I, I still, like, my, my mission from day one, it's just to spread peace, love, and light to the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always want to be in tune with my higher self in Christ. That's why I came down here to do. Like, I seen it. Yahweh is my my bride and groom, but the most I took her from me. You know what I'm saying? He took all that shit from me. Everything that I hold dear to me, he took it from me. It wasn't no devil. It was the most high because we seen, bro. You know what I'm saying? The devil ain't got no power but what you give him, yo. He come fuck with your mind, say this, say that about what you done did or who the woo, blah, blah, blah. But you got to sit with those afflictions in Christ and you got to be honest with yourself and be like, shit, I did do this and do that, but shit, I read that word and that Bible say this and say that. You know what I'm saying? Jesus is this and that. You know what I'm talking about? Straight like that. And be okay with that, bro, because at the end of the day, you chose to be here, bro. You chose to come down here with a purpose, you know what I'm saying? And whether you know it or not, bro, you have an obligation. No man lives for himself in Christ. No man dies for himself in Christ, period, bro. No man lives or dies for himself, period, bro. Period, bro. So you got to repent. If you if you know you living in sin, if you know you fucked up, you got and then you can't just repent because the most high, he said he ain't even trying to hear it. You gotta read that word, bro. Most high ain't trying to hear, it, bro. If you ain't, if you ain't sincere, you gotta put in that word, bro. You gotta put in that word. And I'm talking, get in tune with your higher self. Stop smoking. They using that shit. I seen this in a dream too. That you and I seen a movie where they are chemically altering this weed, bro. It's no good. You gotta let it go, especially for us black folks, cause we so sentient and conscious and loving and docile bro that we gonna make us weak and so acceptable to things and shit that you know is not a god you know what i'm saying that weed is not a god no more you feel me it's making us it's making us what's the word it's pulling a wool over our eyes yo you know what i'm saying like i feel like that weed is that forbidden fruit bro i swear bro and me saying, I don't know, but I had a dream, yo, where they, 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 they spraying chemicals on the shit, and it's making niggas go crazy, bro. And that, that jab, I had a dream about that shit, too. People gonna take that shit and just go AWOL, bro. I had a dream, we gonna have to start, the homes gonna be boarded up. We gonna have to go hunt for our food. Niggas gonna have to learn new skills and trades. We gonna have to live out in the woods. This shit not no game, bro. This shit not no game, bro. If you get superpowers, bro, shit, that's what's up. You feel me? But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want none of that shit, but I, I feel like I might end up getting some, even still. But, I give it to Jesus. I give it to Jesus, bro. Because if I try to touch it, I'm going to fuck it up. I'm going to do something wrong. I mean, I don't work for myself. That's why I got to tell y'all how I'm telling y'all now. Because after this... I don't know what's finna happen, you feel me? But shit finna change, bro. 
I'm not smoking no more. I'm not drinking no more. I don't want to. And once you give it to Jesus, if you and if your spirit telling you to do something and you keep going against it, that's a sin too. You feel me? I had to learn that too. You feel me? Because my spirit telling me, stop smoking, stop drinking. The most high speak to us through our higher selves in Christ. You feel me? You got to listen. You got to overcome your lower self, bro. You got to overcome your lower self, bro. We from above, yo. We from above, bro. We are the true living gods and beings in Christ, bro. But we are just man. We are just flesh. The most I say, he's going to give us a heart of flesh. You feel me? You got to let go of all that shit. Thinking you a god. Thinking you this and you that. That's ego. You feel me? That's false pride. That's false self. That's the nigga you got to let go of. All for real. Then you now you got to repent, bro. Because that nigga will lead you into it. Lead you straight into destruction, bro. We don't need that lower self no more. If you become an evolutionary being in Christ, become an evolutionary being in Christ, bro, you don't need that shit no more, bro. Right now, let, let the most high do all that superpower stuff for you. Don't try to do shit, bro. Just work out, train, and do what you're supposed to do, bro. But don't be worshiping no other gods and burning incense. And, you know, if that's your thing, that's your thing, but. Make sure you praying to the Most High in Christ, yo. Knowing that Jesus is the Son of the Most High that saved you. If you don't believe that he died and rose on the third day, then all the shit you doing is no and void, bro, on God's side. That's being real. That's how I feel about it. The white man ain't beat that shit into us. We, we wrote the book, bro. That's the whole mix-up that I be trying to get people to understand. That's our book. That's our heritage. That's our lineage. That Bible is going to stand the test of time, bro. It's going to last for generation upon generation upon generation. You feel me? Niggas just trying to get a quick buck out of this bitch, bro. No, bro. Fuck them niggas, bro. What that word say, bro? You got to leave these Creflo dollars ass niggas alone. But I ain't trying to call that nigga out. But... These pastors out here, these false prophets out here, they real. You feel me? They got niggas confused. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I can't even say that, though, because every man is doing their own part to do what they think is right in their own heart. That's why I say, bro, you just got to read that word for yourself, bro. That's why I want to come on here and clear some shit up, bro, because... You know, I had to I had to read the word for myself. I had to get that understanding in Christ that, you know, I'm just a man, bro. No matter who I think I am or how high and mighty I think I be, the most high is greater and he will strike you down, bro, with a quickness. If you think he playing with you, bro, this shit not no game, bro. I love all my people, bro. I ain't trying to scare nobody, nothing. I'm just saying, bro, we got to tighten up. You feel me? This ain't no time to be goddamn out in no clubs, goddamn blowing money on hoes, fucking, and trying to fuck as many bitches as you can before the end of the world. No, bro. Sit your ass in the house, bro. <laughs> Get in your word, pray, and repent. Do what you gotta do to show the most high that you is trying, bro, that you separating yourself. You gotta be circumcised of heart, because we all got that sword, bro. And if you live by that sword, you die by that sword. That's why I'm, I'm speaking how I'm speaking, bro, because I live by that sword. We all got to be. I just read that shit last night, but we all got it, bro. You know, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no one sin greater than the other. And we all the same in the eyes of the most high love of Christ. So when I'm telling you how I'm telling you, you know, it's, it's out of straight love, bro. To my enemies, to my foes, all the niggas that, you know, Whoop de woo, you feel me? Like, you know, because I don't been stabbed in the back, bro. Like, so many times the snakes out here real, but it's all love, bro. But at the same time, you got to know when to pick and choose your battles, bro. And I had to give it to God, bro. But shit, you niggas tried to kill me out there, bitch, bro. I'm talking straight up, bro. But I'm getting off, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I'm going to make any more videos after this. You feel me? I'm growing my locks back, you feel me? Shit like that. But I don't really care about all that shit, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can cut my shit off today if I want to. I just ain't got to. You know what I'm saying? But 
that was something I was dealing with. I wasn't trying to really impress nobody. I had I had free fun loss before the shit was popular. You feel me? Like I just did that shit because I I didn't like twisting my hair. You feel me? But a lot of niggas seem to think that. I was trying to put up a front or whatever, but niggas don't see the dude. <laughs> they don't see the guy down, bro. I don't been through some shit, bro. I <laughs> shit sad, but that ain't even nothing, bro. Really, cause I love my people, bro. I love y'all, bro. With all my heart, mind, and soul, I love my people. The, the greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as you love yourself, bro. That's the greatest commandment of the whole Bible, bro. I got that shit, bro. I love y'all. If I didn't love y'all, I wouldn't be saying it how I'm saying it, bro. Because I ain't got nothing to gain from telling y'all this shit, bro. Word, bro. Word, bro. But I got everything to lose, bro. Because like the Bible said, bro, y'all blood would have been on my hand, bro. As long as I'm doing my job, bro. I don't mind, bro, because we family. You ain't supposed to turn your back on family. You feel me? We, if you for the kingdom, you for the kingdom. You feel me? But if not, bro, then I can't fuck with you. I can't even fuck with you if you don't believe in Jesus like that, bro. I ain't even got a Jesus peace, bro, and I believe in Jesus, bro. Oh, man, you got to got down. You got to know what you know out there, bitch, bro. You got to believe in yourself in Christ. You got to honor yourself and humble yourself. Be lowly in spirit if you have to. Besides being out here in this wicked world, bro. This shit is wicked. And they make it cool to be out here doing what they doing. The wicked ones, bro. They say the wicked gonna make it as though the righteous is an abomination. They gonna make it like it's the, the wick. The righteous is wicked, bro. This shit not no game, bro. But the righteous gonna know, bro. Because I'm speaking that word. I'm speaking that truth. Yahshua is real, bro. Yahuwah is real. He's our Elohim. Yahweh is real. He's our creator, yo. The most high love of Christ loves us, yo. He don't want to see us suffer or perish, bro. But come unto repentance to him, yo. And give glory to his son, yo. Put some respect on his name. He told me that too, bro. Put some respect on his name, bro. some respect on his name, bro. He real, bro. Y'all worship any other God. Y'all turn to all these other God, but the one true ancestor, bro. He an ancestor, bro. But he also the living king, bro. Just cause they say he white or his name his name wasn't even Jesus back then. But what what's what's the message he speak? What did he what did he teach, bro? Fuck trying to be like him for a second, bro. What did he teach, bro? Fuck trying to have superpowers and shit, bro. What that word say, bro? That word do say that if you believe in him, you can do the same things he did and then some. But I had to get on my knees and repent, bro. And now I'm sitting in the afflictions of my spirit. I'm finna come out, though. I have come out of it. Because I made up in my mind, I'm going to listen and be obedient to the divine will and love and light of the most high. Until the day I die, bro. And all he asked me to do is start smoking, start drinking, and get in tune with nature and Christ. In tune with Yahweh. Listen to my higher self. You know what I'm saying? Repent. You know, it's a walk. It's definitely a walk, bro. But you got to believe, yo. You got to be chosen for this shit. If you don't believe, you don't believe. I can't force you. But love is real, bro. Love is real. So, I don't know what else to say, bro. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be making videos on this shit no more, bro. Not that I don't want to, bro. This shit. I like still get my shit together, bro. I think that's it, though. Mental health, that's it, that's what else I want to talk about, mental health in the black community, bro, that weed is not helping, that's what it was, 
that weed is not helping us like we think, bro. Like, a lot of people in my family got mental health issues. When people act like it, if they, they feel ashamed for asking for help or like you're weak or something, no, you're not weak. You're actually strong as fuck. And if you need help, like, there's mental health apps on your phone, journaling help. Like, you got to work out. You got to discipline yourself. You got to supplement. Whatever that is, like, that time and that. Because you've done it so much, you gonna have to put in that work, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have to go down. It's survival of the fittest. You feel me? Like, let that shit go. Let that shit go. Like, mental health is real. Get that shit straight. You know what I'm saying? As the most high love of Christ to renew your mind, restore your mind, and he'll show you the way in which you need to be, how you need to go about, you know what I'm saying? Getting your shit straight. He's going to restore you regardless. He's going to help you. He's going to correct you, but... You can't die in your sins, bro. And, and be gone out of it. I just don't want to see nobody be gone out Because, bro, this shit real, bro. This shit sad, bro. You can really, like, lose your... You can really die out here. You know what I'm saying? You can really die here and not come back, bro. I'm talking die in your sins, bro, and not, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, That shit is scary, bro. I fear the most high, bro. With all my heart, mind, and soul, I fear. And he is not like man, yo. He is not like us, bro. He is a spirit of divinity, bro. People think that he's... I read that in the Bible, too, and that must show me to my core, because, bro, the most high is not like us, bro. He don't think like us. He don't move like us, bro. He moves... Uh, He is awesome, bro. Terribly awesome, bro. You can't, you can't fathom it. He's infathomable. He, you can't. He's infathomable. You gotta talk about. You gotta talk about what he is infathomable. He's the auspicious one. Like you, it ain't no mystery in it, but it's just what it is, bro. You can't put no more. You can't put your finger on it because he's just all in all and everywhere, bro. Like you gotta get down on your knees. And Man, bro, because he love you that much, but if you man, alright, hey, niggas gotta go, he gotta go, bro, you know what I'm saying, you gotta get weird up, you gotta get weird up, when the meat shall inherit the earth, when those that endure to the end gonna inherit the earth, bro, the wicked is not finna inherit the earth, bro, y'all niggas think y'all just finna you think you you think you can just do shit and get away with this shit, bro? And like you not being seen, like these niggas out here murdering, raping, and swooping up kids and shit. These niggas making a vaccine, got dead baby fetuses in the shit, bro. But your ass is not hidden, but your ass is grand, but I try to told you, but I try to told you, but like, but shit is not no game, bro. Shit, not no game, bro. But it's all good. It's all for the kingdom, bro, because it's written. It's written, bro. If you got it, you got it. If you don't, bro, you won't see. You won't see, bro. I don't even want to say too much, bro. But shit. You won't see, bro. Christ is Lord, man. He loves us. And he lives within us, and we are not hidden from his sight. Whether we think we're in the dark or not, whether the darkness around us, or there is no hiding place. And you cannot run from yourself, bro. That's why I feel like that movie The Bird Boss about, too. When niggas start going crazy because they don't see no shadow cells, and they're like, oh shit, like, I fucked up, let me get all goddamn. They fucking, they get fucking. Blinded by their imagination, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be grounded in Christ, bro. You gotta know what you know, bro. No, oh, my mama told me, bro. You gotta know what you know in your heart of hearts, bro. You gotta know what you know and stick to that shit, bro, to the end. But they say in the Bible too, it's a way of man in which he think is right, but it really leads down the path of destruction, yo. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Y'all got to change our walk. You feel me? 
you ain't in that word, but you ain't gonna be heard, bro, cause you gotta study to show yourself approved. You feel me? I did that shit, bro. I'm doing it. That's how I get to talk how I'm talking to you. I study to show myself approved, bro. That Bible is our meal to get in. <laughs> but if you wanna believe, you can't just believe in one part of it and not believe in all of it, bro. How you gonna believe in a higher power and not believe in his son? You cannot get to the father the hug him first through the son, bro. It's great like that, bro. Jesus is real. Take this shit again, bro. He is real, bro. And you will get these hands out this bitch, bro. He will strike you. You will get that sword. And you will get ate the fuck up. You feel me? It ain't just... Bro, you can be... It, it, it more than one way to skin a cat, bro. Feel me, bro? Some niggas just ain't gonna see it, bro. But I think that's all. That's it, bro. Like... I want to, like, I want people, I want people to be able to, I want to be able to, like, build with my people and, like, shit, get, just give thanks to God is good, yo, this is my mission, yo, this is my mission right here, bro, this is my whole purpose right here to warn my people about what's to come, bro, I feel like this shit right here, that video, because, you know, I got my report, you know what I'm saying? It's that Bible, yo. It's that redemption. You feel me? It's my salvation in Christ, yo. I got my smile back, yo. Even through my affliction, you gotta pray in the storm, in the midst of the storm. You gotta know your power, yo. In Christ, yo. Not in your, not in your ego. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know it, bro. I don't know what else to say, bro. I feel like if anybody want to talk to me about it, bro, they can come talk to me about it, bro. I'll tell them straight up how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? How I feel about Jesus. How good he is to me. How much I love him. How much you love us, how much you love you, how much you love me, how much you love the earth. What we here for, I feel, the Bible say everything, bro. Right. We made it, bro. If you believe, you know, you know, bro. If you know, you know. Shit. <laughs> Forget things, bro. Don't shoot the messenger, bro. These niggas ain't. Y'all be safe out right here. Love on your family. Love on your wives. Take care of your kids. Stay out these streets. And shit, give thanks for life in Christ, yo. Elevate, yo. From within in Christ, yo. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. And don't be afraid to fucking, hey, go hard for him. If he saved you, bro, speak on it. You love them, speak on it, regardless if you lose friends or what. If your spirit telling you to stay in the house, stay away from these niggas, even if they're your best friend or your cousin or your blood brother, bro, leave them niggas alone, bro. Be like, bro, I can't even fuck with you because you want some other shit, bro, bro. Like, you finna lead me down the path of discretion, all for real. Scream like that, bro. And if they can't fuck with you like that, all that. Yeah, man. That's all I got to say. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody who watch my videos and who, who, um, who really fuck with me, for me, even if I don't know everybody like that, I know I don't. But I thank y'all, bro. I thank God for this opportunity to speak my peace on how I feel and to fulfill his, his wishes. You know what I'm saying? To come unto repentance to him and to lead other people to repentance as best I can. I can't make you repent for, you know, you know I can't repent for you or turn, you know, walk your walk for you. 
I can walk it with you. The Bible says we're supposed to help each other carry each other's burdens. The Bible and, and the Bible also say to cast your burden on Jesus because his burden is light. His burden is light. You feel me? Straight like that. The Bible say don't add on or take away. That's what the man done did, bro. That beast out here, bro. Let's do that. I think it's not hell to pay, bro. Y'all need to watch out. Watch where you stepping. Watch how you walking. Watch how you moving. Watch how you thinking. Watch how you thinking, bro. If you don't fuck with a nigga, don't be in their face smiling in their face. And then going behind their back plotting on them and shit. No, oh, bro. That's the sin, bro. You, you done the wrong power, boy. Got it down. Don't do it, bro. And you gotta also have discernment. If you know you got a good heart and good spirit, have discernment, not just to give that shit away to everybody. Everybody not deserving of your time and your energy, bro. If you tell them straight up, you feel some shit, bro. Keep that shit cordial. Keep that shit plain and simple, bro. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You feel me? And keep it pushing, bro, cuz. Bro, ain't nobody gonna be sitting in that hot seat but you on the final day of judgment, bro. Whatever that day may be, bro, I don't get me the line. You feel me? I don't know when he returning, bro. I feel like he already here, cause he said he'll never leave us nor forsake us if you believe in that word. And if you really spiritual, you committed, you know, committed spirituality, he come back every day. I said, that's why I say why people don't read the Bible, bro, cause they talk about that shit, bro, like... You gotta read it for yourself, bro. You gotta read that Bible, bro. Get that understanding for yourself so you can show yourself approved, bro, before you just go out here acting all kind of willy nilly, bro. Because you will get your head beat in. But that time is over with now. So, I just hope everybody doing what they supposed to be doing and loving. And I, you know, I love y'all. I just wanted to come over here and address some things and let y'all know where I was at, yo. Where, where I feel like my life had, you know, shit's gonna be good, shit's gonna be straight. It's also gonna be some hell to pay out here for the people who got down, who got down, you know, get out what you put in in this world. So, you know, I love y'all, bro. If y'all got any questions, anything you want to talk about, especially when it comes to mental health, bro, talk to me, bro, because I talk to you all night, bro. That's all I do. I be writing, studying, reading. That's all I do, bro. Praying. I pray over you. I, you know what I'm saying? I pray with you, pray for you. You know, ask God to heal you. Ask Jesus to heal you, all that, bro. Like, Straight up. Yeah, bro. Y'all talk to me, though. Let me know how y'all feel about what I said. Don't be afraid to, you know, don't be afraid to speak to me. Not no stranger, bro. Stop treating your brothers and sisters like they strangers, bro. But we are reflections of each other in Christ. You feel me? I probably was ugly at one point, bro. I ain't even gonna flex. I know I was. Thinking I was the shit, bro. Most I showed me I want shit. That's how I got that shit on my face, bro. Sweat. He showed me I want shit, but at the same time, bro, it's a mark of the day. Mark of the chosen one, bro. But listen, I'm gonna let y'all go with this video alone if you made it this far, bro. But real nigga on this bitch. You watch that bit all the way through. Any of y'all, anybody watch that bit all the way through, bro. I'd be so happy and glad because. That's the good word, that's good news, bro. Like, I'm bringing good news, bro. Christ is Lord, yo. We made it. 
Most high level crisis are re reward, yo. We are supposed to be married to him in Christ, yo. The wife supposed to be married to him, and men supposed to be married to Yahweh in Christ, yo. That's what I feel, yo. My heart of hearts and my spirit, yo. Yahoo is our Elohim, yo. I know I still got some more reading and studying to do. So for the rest of my life, that's what I'm gonna be doing, yo. But, I got it, you know what I'm saying? I got it, yo. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And I'll be seeing y'all soon.